Well, hi, everybody. It's that Gratitude Guy, David George Book Brook, with another Gratitude podcast interview regarding the pandemic with a good friend of mine I've known, uh, with a few friends of mine I've known this long. It just shocks me to have known him over 50 years because we're just, neither one of us are that old. But uh, my good friend, Ray Pendell out of Spokane, Washington. Ray, welcome to the podcast. David, it's great to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, as you know, we're doing this to try to maybe give some ideas and tips and, and different aspects of looking at things to help people that are going through uh, kind of a challenging time, maybe the most challenging time in our uh, nation's history and maybe a lot of our lives. So my first question is, what, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Well, to put it in a word, prepare. Um, Growing up on the ranch out west of Spokane, you're familiar with that, of course, my parents lived in the shadows of the Depression. So growing up as a child and as a young adult and as an adult, from time to time I would hear about things that uh, my mom and dad went through during those times and, and everybody else too as well. And so I've taken away their, um, their culture in, in, into my life uh, to prepare, uh, you know, make sure that you have a pantry full of food, you have an ample amount of water, resources, um, financial resources, uh, resources to protect yourself if you need to, and just all of the things that you need to, to survive. And uh, my parents taught me that as I was growing up. So just being prepared. Yeah, that's good. Kind of mind you, wasn't that the, the Boy Scout motto, be prepared, I think is that yes. right? being a Boy Scout or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that certainly makes good sense. And I know uh, some of the backup systems that you have where you live and different uh, redundancies that you have are very, very helpful and certainly smart, period, but certainly during a time like now. So, uh, so even though we're in uncertain times right now, uh, what would you say you're most grateful for, whether it was before this or during this coronavirus uh, outbreak uh, throughout the world? What do you think you're most grateful for? Well, the great relationship I have with my spouse. This is the second time around for both of us. So I'm very thankful for that. And uh, together we built this new home uh, last year. Actually, we've been in it now for about 14 months. So collectively, we uh, put this project together and, 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 and did it quite efficiently and effectively. So I'm really thankful for that. The second thing that I'm really grateful for is the great country we live in. I know... Mm -hmm. uh, that may sound kind of silly to some people, but you know, I'll tell you something. We live in the greatest country that's ever been known to man. We have all of the abundance, re, uh, uh, an overabundance of resources that, that are available to us, the opportunities. So I'm really grateful for that because there's a lot of people who want to come to this country, obviously, and mm -hmm. uh, because of all those resources and opportunities that we have here. So I'm really, really grateful for all of that. And because of that, this is how we're going to get through what I think is probably going to be uh, the greatest economic interruption since the Great Depression, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The president right. has said recently there's, there's going to be a rough couple of weeks. And quite frankly, it's kind of hard to get my mind around that. But it, it, when it's coming from him like that, you've got to uh, you've got to get your mind around it. It's going to be a rough two weeks. So right. Uh, but I'm, I'm just really thankful that we live in a country and a place. When we live in the Pacific Northwest, you live over in Seattle, I live here in Spokane. We have a lot of resources here in Spokane. And I just feel very safe and, and very secure here, both of us do. So uh, we're in a great place and a great time and, and, um, and just trying to take it all in too as well. This is a very historic time in our country. So trying to take that all in, appreciate it. And uh, I spent a lot of my time diffusing a lot of anxiety or a lot of people mm. that are really, really just over the top right. in anxiety. And uh, I spent a lot of time uh, diffusing all of that. So uh, if there's any good thing uh, I've been able to do is just get people to realize just how grateful and how, you know, what a great place we do live in. And we're going to get through this. Yeah, that's great. Great, great input. So I look at somebody like you who's very energetic and motivated and inspiring. You did a lot of really cool things in your life. What thoughts or tips or ideas might you have for somebody to take advantage or use this time when they're, they're kind of tied down, stay at home and, and housebound, if you will, uh, as maybe things to do during this time of, uh, of staying at home? Wow. 
Uh, that's, uh, that's almost an unfair question. <laughs> There's a lot of things. It all depends, I guess, where, where you come from. If you're in the food service business, maybe you want to maybe uh, do a little more in recipes or cooking or something like that. Uh, mechanics, um, there's people that, uh, you know, work in repair shops and body shops that uh, unfortunately are shut down right now. So, you know, there's, for us, for Peggy and I, we just, we're still doing projects here around the house. We've got our sprinkler system going in right now as we speak and some other projects just to kind of finish up on some of the little things that we're doing here in our new home. So I don't know, I guess it all depends on where you come from and your, and your, uh, your, your, your thoughts, I guess. I don't know. There's just, there's plenty of things to do and you can still get out, get involved with your neighborhood, that kind of thing. You know, we're all, we're, we're here because we've taken care of each other, just like what we did in the depression. We took care of each other. Yeah, it's true. And I, I think it's sometimes maybe the free time that somebody didn't realize they had. I've heard people say, I'm coming to catch up on my reading. I'm cleaning out the basement. I'm going to do some, oh, yeah. some of those projects that have been needing to get done, but you never quite have the time. Well, now you're at home. So it's an opportunity to maybe get caught up in some of those long lost things on the checklist. So, fine, so fine. yeah. Find out what, how your kids behave when you're doing homeschooling. Yeah, that's, yeah, true. True. It does stand too. So, so <laughs> last, last question is, what is your philosophy or a quote or sort of a mantra or something that kind of propels Raymond forward either through this or just kind of in general? Is there any quote or any sort of a, a thought process that you kind of think about that kind of represents your mindset? Well, right now there is a quote uh, that I'll tell you. It's, it's um, uh, what? Love lots, trust few, learn how to row your own canoe and mm. this came from a lady uh that was about a hundred a little over a hundred years old that they were celebrating her birthday in, i don't know if it was in chicago i'm not sure where i saw it but anyway she was pretty healthy looked pretty good and that was her philosophy and peggy and i were watching that and we thought you know that's a great thing to go by especially in these particular times you know I love like lot trust few learn to row your own canoe so yeah, rowing your own canoe i think that's something that uh i always look up to and admire people that really can uh, pedal their own bike or whatever it might be row your own canoe or what have you so excellent yeah. well thank you so much my friend excellent uh excellent advice and tidbits to people and as i said i'm hoping that even if one person gets an idea from you or me or the next person that'll be worthwhile and that's the whole purpose in doing these uh these podcasts if you will is to help people through this uh, unprecedented time so yes. thank you so much my friend i appreciate it Thank you, David. Always good to see you, buddy. Thank you. You too. All right, man. Bye-bye.